Welcome ladies and gentlemen, YouTube viewers. Today it's a beautiful sunny spring day and I'm doing a vlog updating my transition towards a plant-based grain-free diet and towards an overall positive healthy lifestyle. Health isn't just eating isn't just eating really well or sleeping really well or exercising really well it's doing all of this really well together I brought a melon like for my, my brunch it's so sweet like it's so bright it's it's not like the flesh is white on the honeydew it's like kind of golden orange inside it feels like it's almost like, like somewhere on the beach I am but when I'm eating like a melon and loads of fruit it's just ideal kind of eating it in the sun because it just feels right like sometimes when it's cold you just feel like no so yeah I just wanted to make an update like it's nice and sunny so I made an extra effort to get into the sun today because like most like most of the time like in the west the sun doesn't come up much and if it does people are working so like it kind of sucks so like I'm just gonna work into the night like when it's dark uh, kind of a little bit not, it's not quite maybe ideal but I want to spend at least two three hours in the Sun today to get a bit pink like because in the past I've had really good exercise and like really good like diets but they've never been together and my health has never really kind of peaked for like a really long period like over the year it's always just kind of been a few months and it, and then it goes back so now it's taking like a really concerted effort to make it like as long term and as part of my lifestyle as possible so I'm learning a lot like it's a lot of self-discipline before I talk a lot and think a lot but not do enough so now it's just about taking action and I'm just really excited because I feel really quite good actually like for me my, my, my barometer like for my health is like when I wake up in the morning guys get a bit of a bit of um, a bit of wood you know what I mean like and uh, it's a really good sign of how you're feeling how your body's like going and for me sometimes it'd be it wouldn't be like what it should be but like I mean after yesterday after the last week or two like no carbs like no complex carbs or grains or bread and just eating loads of vegetables vegetable juices but also a lot of fruit and just a bit of like meat like a bit of pro a bit of animal like a bit of like having a bit of some some eggs and a bit of fish a little bit of white meat and I'm, I'm feeling really really all right you know and that makes me super happy because when I go club and stuff I just feel completely different and also I'm just really really energetic like I just walk around with like, uh, like a skip in my step. I've just been doing this two weeks. It's like running like two, twice every three days, cycling when I can, like five, six miles. And yeah, and just working out resistance like three, four solid times a week. I'm gonna do it today outside in the park, on the park gym outdoor set. And I'm gonna do a run in the sun later on. And uh, you know what, like I'm, I'm feeling good. Like, when your iron's low or something, you're not feeling healthy, like, your body just feels different. Now, I'm stretching, I'm like, I'm stretching all the time. I'm feeling really alright, my body, I can feel it. And, you know what, it's a little bit addictive and I want to just carry on and see where it can take me if I just do this full out, non-stop. So today I'm in the sun, eating my fruit, drinking a lot of water, and it's all good. People talk about like these fad diets like veganism or fruitarianism, and you know what I've, I've come to realize? It's, it doesn't matter what you, you do so much, because everyone is different. Like some people go vegan and eat loads of bread, and like, you know what, I don't really have time for that, because I know that doesn't work for me like, at all, because <laughs> like a lot of things are pushing people. But for me, a little bit of meat, like fats, a lot of vegetables, fruit. You know, I think it, it can really work. 
uh, for now, uh, it may change in the future a little bit, it could. You know, I have a bit of like cafe now, which is milk, and I don't really want to have that much milk in my diet, like, but I'm open to, to change, so, you know, but like, you got to really know what works for you, because a lot of people talk about these veganism diets, or paleo and stuff, and they're like, oh, it's the holy grail, but no, it's definitely the holy grail at all, like, it's, it works for people, and it gives them results, like, a lot of people have, like, their bodies made up differently than others, they got different digestive bacteria, enzymes, like, stuff just doesn't work quite, quite the same way, like, with everybody, because some people can tolerate bread really well, for me, it makes me get, jump into the biggest brain fog, and brain freeze, and zombieism ever, and dairy, like, my, my kefir, where it's made old school, and it's really fermented, full of bacteria, that stuff is good. I get a bit of gas from it, that's true. But like the benefits from like my my bowel movements is immense. So for now it kind of it warrants me taking it. Like and that's the thing. I thought if I just ate fruit, I would be super I'd be like I'd be like Jesus or something on the top of a hill. I feel awesome. But the thing is, like when I just did fruit just before, it never really worked because for one, my body wasn't used to it because I was rushing it. That's what I've done change now. I've eased into it, so I've been eating more fruit and more vegetables like week after week. And now it comes to a point where like, vegetables and fruit are like half of my calories at least, you know? But if you did it overnight, like you should probably, you're probably gonna feel really ill. Cause, I mean, I've done that before. It does not help. But it's just about kind of getting into your routine, developing the taste buds for it. like getting into the routine of buying what you need to buy and I think it can really work it's just the problem is people always rushed and it, this cannot be rushed but it's about doing it slowly and if you find the diet that works for you and the foods that work for you you're gonna feel amazing people talk about having this, ne this next level energy it's because they found the food that works for them and maybe veganism won't work for you or paleo maybe it won't work for you don't bank on it but try, try for like a week. Like, don't eat meat. I mean, I've done that. I've, I've not ate meat for months. And for me, I had to then have a lot of like complex carbs, and it got my Crohn's bad again. You know, I've done meal replacements with my Crohn's, and like that's partially helped. It's the only real help you can get is with real food. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't beat around the bush. Like, real food is meant to be there for a reason. Like. Because it's really, really what we're designed to have, like, you know what I mean, so. I got some, like, the only thing I'm taking at the moment is, like, like cod liver oil, which is kind of anti-inflammatory, high in omega free and stuff. I got these natural iron tablets, which give me, like, 100% of my recommended daily allowance. If I take, like, two of them, so I just take that with fruit, because, like, iron, like, absorbs really well vitamin C. And you know what, I'm just trying to re enjoy this moment, like sometimes you're rushing, but I'm not gonna let that happen now, so it's all good. I got like my Nutri Bullet kind of glass. I, I didn't know what, like where to get a container from, so I found this, just put it in. Got loads of broad beans and peas I didn't finish from dinner yesterday. So just gonna like nibble on that. Cause I like to take the broad beans out of their skin and that takes a bit of, a bit of time at home but like here in the sun there's no rush so I'm just gonna like get some extra veggies in me you know what I tell you honestly the vegetable juice by itself especially if you don't put like, any apples in it tastes tastes like an acquired taste that you know I'll put it like that and you know what actually my 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 palate is actually improving a lot I tell you but it's taking time it's an acquired taste but and like, I mean, it's just so many vegetables, like trying to put everything, when I eat a bit of meat now, I put so many vegetables and it definitely improves the flavor, you know? And it's, that's really cool, you know? Didn't expect that to come out of this, but generally, I mean, I can have vegetable juice and I'm afterwards, I'm glowing. Like my mom or my cousin, they're like, your face is like, it's just glowing red. And you know what? If that's not a good sign, then I don't know what is. <laughs> And uh, so I'm just going to keep it up. I 
I hear time and time again with autoimmune diseases, there's a big correlation like with Northern Hemisphere and the disease because it, like in the UK at least and in Europe and well anywhere really north where the winters are so so could be much better there's just like there's just like half a year with no sun and then even when the sun comes up in the summer people don't really get in the sun because of all the marketing in like the media that like scaremonger people not to kind of get sunburned because they get skin cancer like so end up people end up like having a good chance they're gonna get like ill you know because from the sun you get so much you just can't get from anywhere else like particular vitamin d's and stuff you just can't get in supplement form and your hormones get regulated and it's just it's just <laughs> it's so important so just getting that it, like getting the sun into me fighting this disease and you know what no i'm gonna be i'm gonna be super healthy and the only problem is your hands get really sticky my phone is like just glue <laughs> but uh but i foresaw this so i've got a few tissues and they're not for what some people think they are for yeah so like the first time i noticed the sun was really good it's because basically i got kind of eczema you can barely see it because now it's not as it's not as bad as it used to be. And it's usually good in the morning, just before food anyway. But the first time I realised like the sun is really good is when I went out like with really bad eczema into the sun. I literally realised like the day after I was like, "Where's my eczema?" It was it was I was like taking no meds or anything, and I was like. This doesn't make sense, but because I was brainwashing the whole medication and stuff, I didn't really catch on straight away. But there's so many things you can do, you can do to help yourself. Like the only problem, like in the West, is it's like <laughs> you can buy anything and everything. Like nice cars, status, and stuff. You know that's not the point. Like that's not the point at all. Like. Especially when it comes to real stuff like health, because you can't buy that. Like all of this, like my little journey, like it's. I mean, I mean, I've taken all the meds, and doctor said, like, unlucky son. You know, we've tried everything. We're not gonna put you into the most, most, like, most serious drugs, like they like drugs for Crohn's. I can basically, it's almost like like cancer. Like they give the same drugs to some people with can, like, like they give to cancer. But they've given me everything else and they're like, you know what? We don't think this chemo drugs don't even help you to be fair, so you know what? I'm not gonna bother. And they're not gonna bother wasting their time. And it's, so it's just down to me and I know what helps and what works. But it's just it's about making it part of my lifestyle. Some people, a lot of people, I don't know, you wanna everyone wants to just chill and relax, but I'm gonna have to but God didn't choose that for me, like or nature or destiny, whatever. It shows like a bit of an uphill kind of life. And for some people to have where they want to be, they need they need that, you know. They need they need that. Like some people's health. Some people are just sensitive, you know, and they need to like live like a Spartan, disciplined, good food, exercise, and like the shebang. So. But like tell that to people who, who like who earn a hundred thousand a year or thirty, which is like the average in UK, like UK pounds. And I like, tell them that like when they can buy a PlayStation, when they can buy a, Mac a Mackies for like a quid, you know. I've kind of been like stop starting these like this diet for like probably a couple months, and just dieting has taken me several years to get to like this. But you know what? I just need to maintain it like, and that's. That's, that's 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 the real challenge, you know. People can t can tell you the formula, but if it's not put into action, then it don't mean it don't mean crap. Like, so. thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share.